How's it going guys? My name is Chris. I'm a physical therapist and registered nurse. In this video we're going to talk about how you can fix text neck and the posture related to cell phone use so you can reduce pain and prevent you from having problems with your neck down the road. Now, this is becoming a huge problem that I'm seeing in our clinic as a physical therapist, especially with teenagers, because if you think about the average human head, it weighs about 10 pounds, okay? Now, if I am down this much, it's going to amplify that to about 60 pounds, just the torque and the force and the angle. So the more you're down, the more you're going to create a torque on your neck. We're going to address some corrective exercises that you can do. Of course, please remember that I'm not your doctor, nor do I plan to, nor do I play one on the internet. And I'm just going to give you some basic things that I see in a pattern that's common with people. So, cell phone. So, let's say you've got your cell phone, right? Let's think about this in a couple concepts, and then we're going to go right into some exercises. First, when I'm like this, what's getting long and weak? Some of the cervical extensors. But also, it's a little different than a forward head posture because we're not getting so much length through here. Forward head posture, you're going to get tight through the back because you're your head has to be looking forward in the horizon, whereas now we're looking down. So some of the cervical extensions are going to get weak, but you are still stretched out in the front a little bit. We also need to think about what this does to the thoracic spine. It's your upper mid-back. That's going to pitch you forward there as well. So we want to make some corrections. One of the first things I would say is if you've seen some of my other videos on posture, particularly my complete posture guide for gaming and, and watching TV and cell phone use and all that jazz. We need to bring the object up to us, always. You need to use your shoulder blades to help support you and bring it up. Use adaptive equipment if you need to, stands or tripods or whatever, to just get this up here so you're not down like this. That's the first step is don't keep aggravating it more and more, right? So. When you have your cell phone in front of you, I would bring it up and then gently slide your head back on your spine. Now I'm supported with my shoulders. I'm growing tall and I'm making sure that I'm not getting down into this position. Always bring your work up to you, whether you're an illustrator, whether you're on the computer doing programming, whatever it is that you're doing, you want to bring it up to you. Next, let's think about some corrective exercises. You've seen this in some of my other videos too, but concept is the same. We want to elongate the spine. We want to make sure that we're not coming into this forward rolled shoulder position. So that doesn't mean slam your shoulders back because I'm still in a flex position in my thoracic spine and my head's hanging down, right? So we gotta address both. We gotta address the upper mid back, the shoulders, and the neck. So when I'm up against a wall, then I can practice breathing in, rolling the elbows back towards the wall, which notice that opens my shoulders instead of just pinching my shoulder blades together, and gently drawing the head back on the spine, growing tall through the crown of the head, and breathing. Breathing's a big part. So I come into my slump, I'm into my texting position, right? And then I grow tall through the crown of my head, slide my head gently back on my spine, and roll the shoulders open. So I'm working on my postural muscles. You could hold for a couple seconds, and then you could come back out of it. So corrective exercise number two is going to be a you know, progression for the wall exercise. And I'm going to come onto my stomach, and instead of just propping up on my back, because that doesn't really do much for the upper body there, I'm going to make sure that when I breathe in, I'm rolling the shoulders open, gently sliding them down, pulling my head back on my spine and peeling my upper back away from the mat, my upper chest. I kind of think of like that magic trick where they pull, the, they pull the sheet out from underneath the table there and all the dishes stay where they are. Same kind of thing like there's a string pulling you from your sternum up and out because we're peeling up and that sheet is going out in front of me there and I'm being pulled up like this, instead of just going into your lower back. So that would be another corrective exercise that I would certainly consider. 
Another variation of that is to be on your hands and knees. <clears throat> and from here, I can work on not just doing this, because this is all in my mid cervical spine. I want to make sure that we're getting into the upper back a little bit, like T1, T2. And from this position, I could start to let my head sink down, right? And then I could practice gently drawing my head back on the spine, showing off the sternum like you're showing off a, a necklace or something like that. And then gently elongating the back of the head, the length, the back of the neck, and then coming back down. That's a little more of a gentle version, right? But these kind of things, working in combination with the upper back, and then also the lower cervical are important things to consider. Lastly, you might want to consider strengthening your deep cervical flexors. <laughs> so when you're here, if you're really weak here, the deep cervical flexors are kind of like the abs of the neck. So when I tuck my chin and then I draw up, then I could hold for a few seconds and then I could come back down. I'd much rather have you strengthen a supportive structure than a passive supportive structure and letting your, your head hang. So those are some things to consider, guys. I hope this was helpful. These are the kind of videos that I do. I try and post twice a week, and my mission with this channel is to help give people the tools that they need to thrive despite any health circumstance. So if those are the kind of videos that you like, Go ahead and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you soon.